So how can I turn my scrap into a pile of cash? That's another question that gets asked of me. Um, a lot of customers will have Gaylords of scrap hanging out in their plant, uh, material that they perhaps have collected over a period of time, and all of a sudden realize there's some value in that. So just, just remember a few things. Number one, perfect regrind will improve your bottom line. Anytime you can make perfect regrind and blend it back into your product, you, you, it's going to make you money. Uh, there are many plastic processors and converters today that, that do not use any type of size reduction equipment. They're just simply throwing the material away. So those folks have a tremendous opportunity to save money, um, even if they're not reusing the material back in their product, but to process it and to sell it to somebody who can use it. Material either gets taken to a landfill, sold to, uh, to a, reprocess a reprocessor, or a recycler. Um, if you had perfect regrind, how would that improve your process and reduce rejects? Well, that's something to think about. If you were able to take regrind and produce it perfectly every time, just think about how easy that would be and how much money that would save you. For those of you that do not recapture scrap, there's a pot of gold on the other side. Material, as we all have seen here of late, uh, lately especially, is very expensive. There's an opportunity to, 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 to process your plastic scrap if you're not doing so already. Those folks are today, um, and, but I do want to mention you know, that, there, that there is opportunity if you're not. For those that do recapture scrap, there are, very, uh, there are more efficient ways to improve size, the size reduction process with technology, proper equipment, and of course knowledge. So if you do the math, if you focus on the best quality regrind that you can reintroduce back into your processing and calculate the value of that perfect regrind and work it backwards, how do, you get to, how do, how do I get perfect regrind and what value is that to me? That's the question you have to ask.